Hello, my wonderful people, viewers and subscribers all over the world. This is Okute Daily Talk. I am here once again. Good morning from my own side. I don't know the time on your own side, but wherever it is, I accept my greetings. And also, I welcome you to this um, early morning broadcast. Being the Saturday, the seventh day of January in the year 2022. The year is running and it's running and it's running. So let us proceed into the business of this day. We take the headlines, and after that, we are going to uh, expand on the news as you used to be. And as you know, that is the culture of Okute Daily Talk, where we speak to you the undiluted truth about the life we are living, about the struggle of Biafra, and about the bandits in uniforms who have vowed to destroy the, the old Eastern region, which is the Biafra land, and their prayers. And all they have been doing is not going to work for them because we are covered by Chukokia Biama. I pop tax the Nigerian soldiers, boundaries, says security operatives are the unknown government that we are fighting in the eastern region. Nigerians need to pray for armed forces and other security agencies. That is Ahmed Lawan, the 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 the, the, the Senate President of the Federal Republic of uh, Nigeria. Uh, if you are hearing this note for the first time, please just go to the comment section and type, type rest in peace. One, uh, one of our, our brother has been killed barely two days to his wedding. Please make sure you type rest in peace for this young man two days to his traditional wedding the, by the guy. I don't know what our country is turning into. Most especially the 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 insecurity is now growing in the southern in the southern southeastern part of the country on daily basis what brought this to our land and who brought it is what we don't know but we will surely find out when the time is right this is unacceptable as long as the eastern region is concerned this is something that have never happened in the old eastern region like the Biafra land that is all that is happening at this present uh, time. But may the Almighty Chukwoke Abiyama console the families of this uh, very young man who hails from Anambra State. And may the, the lady that is, uh, that uh, he want to marry, I mean, that lady, anyway, they have not tied the knots yet. But it is really uh, a heartbroken situation for that very young girl who have been praying for. Um, for his own uh, husband. Now the f husband has been found, and this is how the young man ended his life. This, this is, this is, this is truly uh, um, it's an abomination, to my own understanding. I don't know about you. Twenty twenty three. Frosters using my name. Pictures on social media. Ibrahim Babangida raises alarm. What are they using it for? We don't know, but we will find out. Son, don't kidnap him, Papa. Oh, collect ransom of 2.5 million naira. It is happening in where? Where is happening? In Nigeria. Quara State, precisely. Husband kills wife after mistaking her for an intruder. Where did this one happen, though? It happened in Bauchi State. In case you never know, just know it now. I don't know how your husband, um, I mean, uh, your own wife, are turned to into that in your own house. APC Muslim Muslim ticket, a jihad call. We will help Tinumbu actualize it. Cannot cleric spills. So it's, it's a jihad, and you people will help uh, Tinumbu to actualize it. It's all right. When we talk now, they say we are criticizing APC and uh, their 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 uh, what do they call it? Their presidential candidate. But look at it. Somebody who went to who went uh, for a for a campaign in Edo, you don't know anything again to talk. Even we have a, a lot of pressing issues. The only thing that somebody can tell him to talk is to that he will he will tell the Yahoo boys in uh, in Benin City to uh, to be manufacturing of uh, chips. I don't know what is what, which kind of chips. Is it uh, plantain chips or bakery? Uh, yeah. That is the what he can even uh, even to read what they write again is problem for Baba. 
they keep changing. They keep changing papers for him. Even they, they don't write you. So they, they will write up in Yoruba. Papa don't feel pronounced. <laughs> then, then the only thing that, that comes to mind is the, to be calling a passenger blind man. But there's some passenger is whom you, 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 you have went to visit for him to endorse you. When he refused to endorse you, now he become a blind man. And also calling Atiku a custom without nothing to show for it. <laughs> That is the only thing you know. And people are there watching him. That is what you are going to do to Nigerians. Is that your manifesto? Is that what you are going there to do? I'm very, very sure that when you climb that seat, if mistakenly, you will go there and begin to blame people that this one that is a custom uh, officer, uh, he never achieved anything. And this one is uh, a blind man uh, trying to compete with me. That is what we keep hearing on a daily basis until eight years is over and Nigeria will keep dying. May God have mercy and deliver you people. Please. If you're not subscribed before to this channel, endeavor to do that as soon as possible. I see the man, your one and only Okuta Daily Talk, where I bring to us the gospel truth and the undiluted truth about our Biafran struggle. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, have alleged that Nigerian security agencies are the unknown government terrorizing the Southeast. Imam Powerful, the spokesperson of IPOP, accused the Nigerian security agencies of killing Nigerian youths who returned to spend Christmas with their families in the southeast. He said that the targeted killings were amid at portraying the southeast as unsafe before the world. The powerful alleged that Nigerian security agencies, in conjunction with the Bubagun, carried out the killings in the southeast and blamed it on Eastern Security Network. A statement by a powerful reads, I pop under the leadership and command of Mazi Ukechuku Nam De Kanu condemned the massacre of Biafran citizens by Nigerian government compromised security agencies. Why does even the public that the killers are unknown government and IPOP? Who are the unknown government? They have been unmasked. The unknown government that you are in the East is Nigerian security forces. The DSL, the SSS, the police, the military, the, the Navy, and also even the, 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 the Air Force. All of them are comprises of that unknown government that you are hearing. It is under APC, we know unknown God men. It is under APC, we know unknown God men, unknown bishop men. That is under C, C under that same APC. All the killings of uh, Ndibo and the displacement of communities were done by the Nigerian security agencies and government sponsored Ibubago, who later blamed it on unknown God men and ESN operatives. Nigeria is killing their friends. Know it and know it well. Hear it and also hear me clear. Nigerians is killing Biafrans. Nigerians is committing homicide against Biafrans. Nigerians is committing genocide against Biafrans. The international community to intervene before things get out of hand. Nigerian soldiers are doing banditry in the East, claiming to be unknown government. A few days ago, Nigerian army moved into Okigwe villages and murdered some persons and forced people to desire their communities these festive seasons, he added. Can you imagine that? Look at what is happening in our own land. Look at the what they have brought upon the Southeast, simply because they found there to be a peaceful uh, uh, state. And that is how they, they, they deserted in causing confusions in, uh, uh, in our land and blaming it on, uh, what do they call it? Uh, on uh, IPOP and ESN. But without uh, being told, we know what they are doing and we know what they are capable of doing. So let them continue with what they are doing. We are going to do what? We are going to win them when the time is right. So we are moving forward. Another one on our list here. Nobody can stop elections in the Southeast. The Afra group have already sent this message out. For those of you out there who is saying that uh, ESN and Biafra are a threat to Nigerian uh, peace or the election coming February 20, 2023 that ESN portrays um, a kind of a, a danger or um, uh, what, what will I call it? But let me make it clear to each and every one of you out there. ESN is not interested in Nigerian politics. Neither are they interested in Nigeria's elections. So whatever you are doing, please remove the ESN name from whatever you are doing. You can say that in the northeast, northwest, and north central, where the Boko Haram's have been the negotiator, they have negotiator. I watched one um, 
uh, one uh, post today in YouTube where a man said he speech, I mean, he spoke with the, the bandits who attacked uh, Kaduna Abu Dhabi 11 good times, and they made their stand known that the government, I be the government talked too much, and that is why they did what they did under their nose to see what they would do. Can you imagine that? So now the bandits have somebody who are going even into the thick forest and talk with them. I thought people said that when they kidnap people, they have to uh, go how many thousand miles before they can get to the root or to their camps in inside thick forest. Then all this one that always claims they have gone into the thick forest to negotiate or talk with these people, how are they going? How are they going? Is there any road that is leading inside there that they can use car to drive? Because you can tell me that all these people who are like, uh, um, what do they call it, like uh, um, Lucky Irabo, who said he went there and knelt down and talked with people and risked his life, like this, like that. Then my question is, which track leads inside the thick, that thick forest? Can they walk how many thousand miles? miles? Him, being the, the CEO, uh, Chief of Army Staff, Lucky Irabo, can he walk thousand miles to get into the thick forest? There are something these people are not telling us. And those bandits, the real bandits, are the ones inside Asarok. They are the sponsors of all these people. And they are the ones that are bringing all this calamity to our country. The youth wing of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has said elections will be held in the southeastern zone. The group stand was made against an earlier statement by Finland based Simon Epa, leader of uh, IPOP, leader, okay, leader of IPOP youth wing, comrade Ndubisi Iwekani, aka Agu Biafra. To journalists in Enugu on Friday that the Biafra group will not interfere in the election processes, stressing that the will of the Nigerian youth will would be respected. It is the Nigerians that brought people to be out, and their goal is genuine to, to, to recover Nigeria. If they have chosen people to be, Southeast cannot be stumbling block. We cannot be seen as problem, he said. Igwe Kane urged Eba to withdraw any order against peaceful conduct of elections in the Southeast if he is truly in the struggle. He disclosed that a, the, the, a committee had been set up to monitor security situations in the Southeast state or, uh, to identify those responsible for the killings. We will also set up a security network to monitor the activities to ensure that all criminals hiding under the Biafra struggle to commit crimes are fished out and handed over to the security agents. If Simon Epa is on our side, is on our own side, if he is really fighting for freedom and shows he is not part of the killings in the Southeast, he must withdraw orders against election in the Southeast. And all bloodshed in the Southeast. We want to know those behind the killings and expose them. We can't allow continue we can't allow continual killings in the name of Biafra struggle. The struggle is about emancip emancipation of our people not to kill them. We also warn the, the government that Nam the Kano must be released before the election. A man who came to salvage his people was put in detention. He must be released. We are in talk with genuine men of God, genuine traditional rulers and genuine politicians to make sure that nothing happens to our public leader because it will not order well with this country if anything happens to Mazi Nam the Kano, the youth leader warns Nigerian government. On I get it, you get it, if you don't get it, then you forget it. That is all you people need to know about that election we hold in the southeastern part of the country. If you are a Biafran and you said you don't want to vote, just go inside your home, nobody will force you out to come and vote. It hears the right of the, some people because everybody must not believe what you believe. Everybody must not follow what you follow. Just do your own and leave the rest for other people to also do their own. If some people believe in Nigeria, then so be it. If some believe in Biafra, then so be it. The struggle is what is by choice, is not by force. Is by choice, is not by force. So let us stop discriminating. Let us stop this uh, issue of no election in Biafra land. If all the whole Biafra decided not to vote, fine and good, but let, let there be no disruption. 
We have shed a lot of blood in that uh, uh, eastern, southeastern part, killing ourselves. That is not how we are going to get the Biafra. If you want to fight, we'll fight the Nigerian government, not fighting, fighting our own self, killing our own self. Reducing out the number of Biafrans. It is never going to come that way. Please, and please, I'm begging to the general public, to those ones who are out there, wherever you are, either you are in Finland, either you are in US or you are in UK, uh, issuing an a, 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 a order that there be no election in the southeast. You are saying this, and the Nigerian government, who have formed the known government, are hearing it, and they will be the one to orchestrate this very thing. Yeah, they will be the one to carry it out. They will be the one to carry it on their head. That day you find out that you see them laying mayhem to people, killing people and disrupting that election, just to portray the international community that Biafrans are not peace-loving people. Just to make sure that they blackmail Biafra to the last end. So please, this coming 2023, let us be mindful of what we say or what we do or where we find ourselves. If you don't want to vote, please go inside your home. Do not come outside and do not allow anybody to portray you as a, uh, as a miscreant. You get the point now? So that is all we have to tell us this very point in time. Nigerians need to pray for armed forces, other security agencies. That is Ahmed Lawan, the, the senior president speaking. Senior President Ahmed Ibrahim Lawan on Friday said the nation's armed forces and other security agencies deserve the prayers and support of all Nigerians in the light of the patriotic rules to secure the country. Lawan made the appeal after a special Juma's prayer held at the National Mosque Abuja for the armed forces a Remembrance Day celebration. The senior president represented President Muhammadu Buhari at the occasion. Lawan told reporters after the event, this is a special prayer dedicated to the armed forces of our country. And you know the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and other security agencies of this country uh, of this country are working so hard to ensure that the, that the country is secured and is safe and they do uh, that with commitment, patriotism and sense of responsibility and duty. It is our duty as, as citizens to always pray for them, to always give them the kind of support that they need and, and they require. Those of us in government, and I'm here and I'm and speaking as a representative of Mr. President, we owe the country and the armed forces and other security agencies the obligation to ensure that we provide the kind of resource that they need to continue to provide security and safety in our dear nation. Even though resource may not be sufficient, we have to, at all times, prioritize for funding and making provisions of resources for the armed forces and other security agencies to top priority as a government and uh, as a nation. This we will continue to do by the special grace of God and for other citizens we should continue to pray for our armed forces because they deserve every possible support. I made this statement with all sense of responsibility that even though we have never provided them enough for them, they have given us a top performance. Mount some of them lost their lives in the process. Some are, mam some are mammed and incap incapacitated. And therefore, we have to be at the top of ensuring that we respect them, that we pray for them, and that every possible information that we help them enhance their job, we should provide for them. That is all you need to know about the, the, about the word of um, Ahmed Lawan, the Senate President. He said, we should pray for the security agencies. When I, read, when I hear them, my picture on social media, Frosters using my name, pictures, Babangida, Ibrahim, cries out or raises alarm. Former military president, Ibrahim Badabosi Babangida has raised alarm over the use of his name and picture on social media to defraud Nigerians. In a statement of Friday in Mina, the state, the state capital, the spokesperson, I mean the spokesman to the former leader, Salman Yusuf, said Babangida does not operate any social media account. Yusuf urged Nigerians to beware of internet fraudsters using his principal's name and picture to send wrong signals, all in the name of politics. He pointed out that the former Nigerian leader would only make his opinions on any national issues known through official channels. Yusuf added that Babangida's faith in Nigeria is unshakable and is optimistic that, that as a people, 
the country shall overcome its current national challenges. The statement reads, our attention has been drawn to a plethora of fake social media accounts, especially Facebook, bearing General Bangida's name and photos. We wish to state that IBB has never owned nor operated any social media account, and he does not intend to operate any now or in the future. The Soviet of Facebook account bearing his photos and names are fake. The fake accounts are the creation of identity thieves and cyber fraudsters locally and internationally, who steal the identity of prominent people to defraud, misinform, and commit heinous crimes against Nigerians and foreigners alike. General Babangida does not commit comment on national issues on social media. You get it? If you don't get it, then forget it. That is absolutely unnecessary because there were official channels available to him to communicate his stand on any national issue to the authorities. Besides, he has unfettered access to several credible mainstream media that he can talk to any time he feels strongly about any matter. We implore the general public, indeed all Nigerians, to please ignore the warped Im imaginations and antics of cyber criminals who do not mean well for our great country Nigeria. Bangida's faith in Nigeria is unshakable and he is optimistic that as a people we shall overcome our current national challenges if we do not grow weary and we resolve okay we resolve to our leadership questions right. We urge Nigerians to get involved in the democratic process, conduct themselves peacefully and exercise their constitutional rights by voting for candidates of their choice in the upcoming general selections. You get it? Son kidnap Papa and collect 2.5 million Naira ransom. When I don't hear him, it's one a bad son who bad picking, bad picking. A, sus a suspect identified as Isa Negeti has been arrested by the Kwara State Police Command for allegedly abducting his father, Bature Naguhu. Nageti kidnapped his father in, in Iboho, in Orolope, local government area of Oyo State, and got a ransom of 2.5 million naira before releasing him. According to the state police command, Nageti was apprehended by the anti kidnapping team at the Kambi area of Iloren, Jeba Road, in Moro local government area of Kwara State on 4th of uh, January. The spokesperson of the command, Ajayi Okasami, said the anti kidnapping team was on trial of the suspect kidnappers around the Kambi area when they arrested Isa. Okasa Mi said Isa confessed during interrogation that he conspired with two others to kidnap his, his father, Bature, and collected a ransom of 2.5 million naira. The statement read, members of the command's anti-kidnapping team arrested one Isa Nagati, male. On the 4th of January of 2023, around the Kambi area of Philorin, while on a trial of suspected kidnappers, he confessed under interrogation to having conspired with two others to kidnap in Papa, Juan Bature Nagboho, Mel, in the Iboho and the Ibati area of Oyo State, and the sum of 2.5 million naira ransom was collected from him. Efforts are going to arrest other or, or, or arrest his other accomplices, and the case will be transferred to Oyo State, the venue of the said crime. Also kill, okay, husband kills wife after mistakenly mistaking her for an intruder. A 40-year-old man identified as Nuhu Omar Osman killed his second his second wife, Ladi Nuhu Dangafa in the middle of the night at Nengi local government area of Bachi State after mistaking her for an intruder. Che, this one no balance you. That's how that woman just go like that. Okute News learned that the Bauchi State Police uh, Public Relations Officer Ahmed Wakil confirmed the incident in a statement on Friday, January 6th of 2023. The tragic incident occurred after two wives of Osman, Osman engaged in a misunderstanding that could not be settled. Amid the issue, the senior wife's son threatened to attack his father and uh, has a precaution. And as a precaution, 
the man slept with his then gone beside his bed at night. Jay, you know, you know, clear at all. <clears throat> Usman, who was unaware that his second wife had gone to unite at midnight, pulled the trigger when he had a suspicious movement close to his bed. According to the statement, the suspects have been arrested and will be charged to court after the completion of investigations. The statement read, there was an altercation between the wives to the extent that the eldest son hold grudges against the father and threatened to harm him. This made the suspect load his then gun and kept it beside him throughout the night, waiting for an intruder, possibly his eldest son. On December 28th of 2022, Usman slept in the same room with his second wife but was unaware when she stepped out of the room at 2 a.m. to urinate. While returning to her bed, the husband woke up and reached for his, den for his gun on hearing suspicious movement close to his bed. They shot, then shot at fire. Okay, he, he fired the hit. The shot he fired hit his wife who fell down unconsciously. She was rushed to the general hospital, Bura, but certified dead on arrival by the doctors. That is how you just wasted this man, this woman. APC Muslim Muslim ticket a jihad call. We will help Tunumbu actualize it. Canoclaric spills. Weeks ahead of the February 25 presidential election, an Islamic picture in Kanu, Abdul 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 Mutalab Mohammed Awal declared on Friday that the Muslim community would help all Progressive Congress APC presidential candidate Suwaju Bulame Tunumbu to actualize his long-time dream. A Sahara reporter's report cited by Okute News on Friday quoted the clients are saying that the ABC Muslim Muslim ticket is a call to jihad. Hence, they will defend the call with their ballots come February 25. According to the news platform, Awa said this today at a special prayer season organized by the Muslim clients in Kano for the success of Tunumbu's candidacy. Yeah. Call for jihad. Our reportedly informed the congregation that Tunumbu Shetima ticket had defined the supremacy of Islam, urging all Muslim voters to vote for the APC on election day overwhelmingly. This people are, are, are causing another different thing. You know. hey, wow. This meeting was convened by our group Islamic preachers and we have, and we have invited about 75 Muslim groups, including the Kaduna State Izala and the George Plateau State Izala. And the uh, Salfia, Kadiria, M1 Muslim in the hour, women in the hour, also here our groups like Yoruba and Igbo Muslim groups. Last but not the least, we, ha we, we have here in Kano Imams group. The import of today's sitting is to let the clerics and indeed all Muslim leaders know that the Muslim Muslim ticket is not about mere promise of bringing dividends of democracy like road and infrastructure. This ticket is about the supremacy of Islam. This ticket has honored Islam. Therefore, we will honor it with our ballots. Our will put saying at the session. The cleric furthermore declared that a Muslim is always better than an infidel. They who are the infidels. What more of two Muslims combined? This informed why we undertook a, to create this awareness and to tell all of us that this Muslim Muslim ticket is a jihad call to all Muslims, Awa said. Tunumbu has tried to actualize Muslim Muslim ticket for long. Hmm. On his part, another preacher who, who is said to be leader of the Ezara sect in Kanu, Sheikh Abdullah Ezara, Pakistan, noted that the former governor of Lagos State had for a long time promoted the enthronement of a Muslim Muslim candidate. We have discussed extensively on how this candidate, Tunumbu, has for a long time strived to actualize the Muslim Muslim ticket. He paired no Hulibadu with a Muslim Yoruba uh, okay, Muslim Yoruba back then. And uh, we also and uh, also was also instrumental to the Abiola uh, slash King Gibe Muslim Muslim ticket, the clerics said. Governor of uh, Kano State, Abdullah Ganduji who was also reported, reported, reportedly at the gathering said that Tunumbu and Shetima ticket 
will be supported by all Muslims. According to him, it was not for the first time to practice Muslim Muslim in the country. Muslim Muslim ticket is not new in Nigeria. The Abiola and Kigibe Muslim Muslim was overwhelmingly voted Muslims. And it succeeded unfortunately. A military junta nullified the victory. Another opportunity is here. And thank God we are now in democracy. No one can annual the election. The election, Gandhi reportedly said. To my great people of Biafra, the lovers of freedom and the lovers of mankind, when I don't hear them, I be, I don't hear them very well, oh. Last but not the least, 2023, Shite leader Ibrahim E. Zazaki speaks on endorsing Peter Ubi of Labour Party. Shite Muslim leader Ibrahim E. Zazaki had denied reports alleging that he endorsed the presidential candidate of Labour Party, Peter Ubi, or any other of uh, the candidates vying for the presidential presidency in February. This comes after a viral report speculated that the cleric had endorsed will be following the several high profile endorsements of Labour Party flag bearer by former President Olusegun Obasanjo and Edwin Clark, a Niger Delta leader. The post also allegedly urged 8 million Shite Muslims to get their personal, uh, personal voters' card so as to vote for P2B at the 2023 general elections. Speaking about the development, one of the clerics lawyers, Masha Abubaka of the Falana and Falana Chambers, told newsmen that the purported endorsement of Obi or any other presidential candidate is fake news. He also confirmed that some presidential candidates have approached the cleric for endorsement. He added that his clients believe that the ongoing presidential campaign lacks ideology that will move the nation forward. This fake news. I can confirm you that there's nothing of such, though some presidential candidates have reached out to him, but he has refrained, refrained from endorsing any of them because he believes the 2023 presidential contest is bereft, okay, bereft of ideological um, leaning, Marshall stated. So my people, this is where we are coming to the end of this broadcast. If you are not subscribed, endeavor to do that as soon as possible. Turn on the notification button so that we will notify each time we go live or post something new on this channel or any other channel related to Okute Daily Talk. I will come your way again with another blog button and another mouth watering uh, broadcast before today runs down. Today is Saturday, so I wish us a happy Saturday and make sure you, you, you drive Guinea safely because weekend always claim lives of people, despite the fact that people die on daily basis. But weekends, groove drinking and driving is not good please minimize what you drink and minimize what you eat and also watch your movement as a death is rocking around every corner in this country called nigeria nobody knows where or when it will happen but our prayers is that we shall reach our old age before we depart this age have a nice day my dear people and the good people of biafra and the lovers of okute daily talk and channel anywhere you see me Please stay, just say hi and make sure you comment on any of my content because without you, there will be nothing like Okute Daily Talk. I really thank you people immensely from the depth of my heart for all the support I have been receiving all these years. May the Almighty Chukwoke Abiyama bless us, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I am signing out. Until I come your way again. Bye for now.